Hi everyone! In this video I want to show you how you can easily connect ManyChat to Google Sheets for free and without coding. If you do it, you'll automatically receive necessary contact information to Google Sheets. I'll do it with the help of the Appyway. Appyway is a free integration platform where you can find appropriate B2B software and integrate it with each other, and you don't have to pay or do any coding. Why is it free? Well, this service charges money from software vendors and promote them in the software marketplace. That's why Appyway is free and has no limits for end users. Now let's move on to the integration. First, you need to sign up on Appyway. After you've done this, go to the tab Apps and add ManyChat and Google Sheets. Then go to My Apps and connect them. Let's start with ManyChat. When you click this button, you will see that it is already connected. Next, let's connect Google Sheets. Click the button Plug, then sign in with Google. On this page, you should choose which account you want to connect. And next, click the button Allow. It returns you to Appyway and you will see the green text again. Now both services are attached and we can start to configure the integration. I've created a spreadsheet previously and here I have three columns – name, email and phone number. I'll show you a case when somebody subscribed for a chatbot but didn't left any contact info. And after I get this data, I need to send it to Google Sheets. Keep in mind that you can make an integration according to every event. As you can see, I've created a simple flow on ManyChat in advance. And here you can see a question from chatbot. It is about a mail. Now I will add a question about phone number and show you what to do to send contacts info to Google Sheets when phone is received. I click on the next step and here choose Send message. Here I select user input. Let's name it phone number. After that I specify to which custom field I want to send this response. I have two of them, email and phone, but you can add whatever you need. Then I click Perform an action and it appears here. Let's configure it. From this list you should find external request. On other websites you could see it like webhook, it is the same. Click Add a request. We'll come back here a little bit later. I return to the APY and now we should create a way. You can see this button on the top of the page. Click it and let's start. You can give it the name which you need. For example, ManyChat and Google Sheets. It will be easier to find it later. Now you should specify the trigger. Here choose ManyChat. And here you can see the link. If you try to go through this link, it won't work. It's only an address to which the data will be sent. Receiving data to this link will be the trigger. You should copy it. Now I return to the ManyChat and paste the link in this field. Here you can choose which data you want to send. I won't do it now and just make it send me full subscriber's data. After you finish with this, click Save. Next go to the Appyway and click Update Available Fields. Now you have 3 minutes to send the test data which will teach the service to receive the information. I return to ManyChat, click Preview and answer to the bot on Facebook. Then I return to Appyway again, and you can see that various fields have appeared here. They vary in different services. It is the data you are able to send. Now let's set up an action. In the field Choose a service, choose Google Sheets. If you connect it all correctly, you will see it here. Here choose Create Spreadsheet Row. It means when you get new data, the system will fill in the rows in the sheets with information. Then test the connection and after that click Update Available Fields. First select the spreadsheet that you need. Then select Worksheet. Here you can have a lot of worksheet, but you have to choose that one in which you want to add information. For me it will be sheet number one. And the service shows you fields, which you have here in your sheet. Then click plus sign and choose name for the name and in the field email and phone I choose my custom fields. Then click Test and Activate. If you want to add it this way, you can find it in the tab My Ways, deactivate it and change everything you need. But don't forget to activate it again. I'll send information one more time to check if everything works. Transmission of the data may take a little time, 
Sometimes it appears immediately, sometimes you have to wait for a while. The time of waiting is up to 15 minutes. Now let's go to Google Sheets. And you can see that I've already received the data from ManyChat. Name, email, phone number. The integration is working. Using Epiway you can make integration and automate your work without any problems. And of course, don't forget to go to the Epiway website, look through the categories, choose appropriate software for you and improve your business process.